everybody. Welcome to our uh, and our weekly uh, meeting. We didn't meet last week because we were in uh, the Cleveland annual yearly once a year Cleveland Tai Chi workshop. And uh, on the call right now are me, Harry, uh, Harry Leg, Greg Nolmeyer, and Matt. And I and Harry and Greg all three taught at the Cleveland workshop and had a great time and met a lot of great folks and really enjoyed that. And if you missed it. Uh, that may be something you'll want to attend in the future. Uh, a lot of great people, good times. Um, and then this week, and is there anything any one of you wanted to say about the Cleveland event? I just had a great time. It was great to finally yeah. have you in Cleveland with uh, this awesome group. <laughs> and it's my hometown, so go Cleveland. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and I did not have Howard to duck with me, but next time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... Um, here, uh, Greg, anything there or? No, it's a good time. Nice to, nice to work with different people and all. It was good. All right. So, um, our upcoming this week, starting on Wednesday will be the push hands level one. Uh, we've got some great folks coming out for that. And, uh, if you haven't signed up for that, unfortunately, by the time you see this, it will probably be too late and you'll have to wait until next year. Um, the, uh, um, Ann Arbor is getting ready to come up, and uh, I wanted to let Greg talk about uh, the workshop coming up in Michigan. Yeah, so um, particularly if you were just in Ohio, we're not too far. <laughs> um, so I uh, what are the dates? What are the dates? Uh, so September twenty first, September twenty second, and um, if you're an instructor, come on the Friday, September twentieth. If you're an instructor and you're coming, you have to come all three days. You cannot just come to the instructor day and then skip out on the rest. You have to do the whole thing. Yep. And I'm basically thrilled to bring Sifu up because I spent a lot of time traveling to uh, <laughs> get some comments from my family about how much I'm traveling and all that kind of stuff. Um, so to be able to bring him up closer to where people are right for uh, my crew, I'm, I'm just thrilled about it. And uh, last year we had an excellent three days and I only expect more. So very good. We will be on the Thursday before that. We will be there and should have some private lessons available. You'll want to get with Greg with that pretty fast because I guarantee that'll fill up. Um, okay. The um, yeah, last last year, um, it was. I, I hope that everybody's coming out again because um, you know we've seen some of them in between, but um, it'll be it'll be great to see everybody again. Cool. The, uh, okay, uh, Harry, do you have anything coming up that you want to talk about uh, in the next 30 days? Um, or so? Actually, I just look forward to joining you uh, at Greg's place in Ann Arbor. So I'll be there for that as well. And I'm looking forward to joining uh, the uh, Fogung Healing Workshop again in November in Tennessee. So I'll be there yeah. for that. And the Parkinson's training as well, which you're adding. The to day before, yeah. Yes. Thursday. So I can't wait to do that. So, cool. I'm yep. looking forward to seeing you guys here again. And uh, next month. Uh, and eventually, uh, eventually the level ones, I meant to tell you guys this on our other call there, eventually the level ones, once there are enough people involved in the clear Tai Chi system at this point nationwide, and we do have two people, one or two people coming on that are a gentleman from Israel who is going in Tel Aviv, who will be an area or regional organizer there. Um, and then obviously they won't attend, he won't attend a lot of stuff here. He'll attend when he's in the States, but he only comes for like a couple months, once a year. And then the rest of the time he's in Israel and, and it's a long way to fly back and forth. So most of the rest of the time we won't see him, but once there have been enough people and the demand for it is enough, we will have it so that our regional organizers can teach the level one. And then we may have like a level one here once a year that people who are already certified for and that kind of thing can come and take to get it um, on site and to improve all of their level one skills. Uh, we just got to build that critical mass first um, of enough folks so that, um, you know, so that way there's attendance at the workshops and that kind of thing um, like that. But we're headed that way and we'll also be doing a yearly camp and you'll hear more about all of this in the future probably Sometime in 2020, we'll be, we'll be kicking all that off for you. Uh, 2020, 2021, probably for the camp at this point, but you get the idea. Um, all right. So what I wanted to get into was 
is learning to learning clear Tai Chi, how to study the material and and how to how to approach it. And if you're a beginner, you're working on just getting down the basic skills and getting involved in it and getting um, getting it so that you are um, getting the idea of how to do the Tai Chi and the basics and how we do our basics and how that kind of pertains to the rest of Tai Chi and that kind of thing. And so you're really very, very much working on that. And even then, ideally, if you're if you're if you're doing it kind of casually, I want some tai chi for my health and that kind of thing. Then you just study like people normally kind of do. Um, as you get more serious about it, and or you're really working on specific things, specifically getting more skilled, and all of that. Ideally, the best way to study our system is with an eye towards mastery long term. And the way to do that is to take each item, each piece, each each part and to really put the extra time and effort into that thing. In other words, even if you're working the form, you take the one move and you look at doing that move, let's say it's the first move up and down and rise and fall, place hands on jade table, whatever you want to call it. And you really pull it out of the, you do it separate from the rest of the form and you do it so that you're really putting extra time into little aspects of the expression through the move and that you take a bunch of the different things that we're teaching in there and you do them with the move and then you do that with each of the moves in the form and you're exploring different sizes, different qualities of motion, different qualities of body, different kinds of doing it with really making sure the relaxation's there, that the breathing is there, that the uh, calm mind is there, that you're working towards uh, the stillness that you're looking at it martially and how it would be used like that. And ideally, we show at least on the videos for this, we, I know we've got at least three applications for each move on there. And if you get into my deeper stuff, uh, as you go, you'll start seeing it. And like in the intermediate curriculum, you'll see we've got more like 10 to 20 applications for each move on the average. And then in the combat Tai Chi, I've got more like 50, 60 applications for each move and how it would be used for street but you're gonna really get dive into it and pick it apart like that and get real specific about all kinds of nuances with it and really fully fill it out and do that with every move. So that now when you're moving, it, it, it's a much more alive and it has a lot more going on in it and a lot more variability and yet still be very correct. And it's that eye towards what a master level skill with that thing is. And then as you continue in the curriculum and you're doing like the level one push hands, same thing. You, uh, you work it in the workshops and or even when you see it on the video to make sure you've got that skill and that it mixes with the rest of the skills that your understanding is correct, that you can actually do it, that kind of stuff. But then from there, you want to go back through the book, like when you're at home, and take each piece and go how much better, you know, if I put an hour or several hours or several days or a week into that aspect, that thing, that one item, and really work on making that so much more of what it actually is um, and, and fleshing it out like that. Um, and then go to the next one and you'll see your skill level will take um, leaps and bounds because you did that. And so it's not so much that you're trying to get wider than the curriculum and it's pretty wide with a lot of skill sets but you're also looking for that depth out of each piece and then that's sort of built in as well so that as you go through the levels in the push hands it's designed to help to do that some but at the same time you really have to do a lot of that kind of work on your own at home i'm gonna let these other guys weigh in on that and ask questions or make points about it and then we'll we'll see where we get it what we get into well, I just wanted to clarify for uh, those who haven't taken one of your courses yet, when you said go through the book, that means the book that you give us with the course. It's uh, incredibly large for uh, five days, all in pretty much bullet point form. So you can go down, there's this skill, this skill, this skill, this drill, this drill, this drill. And that is what Sifu was just talking about that uh, you would want to go through once you get home and use that as a continual reference. Cool. Anything there, Matt? 
Um, yeah, well, um, I, I guess I'll add what I kind of typically say about this. And so if you've heard me say this before, I apologize. But um, the, this, this, this is a workshop that will change you. You will not be the same once you are done with this five days than, uh, you know, than, you, than when you started. Um, and we have continually had people say that over and over and over again. I think my favorite is um, one, one fellow who uh, literally wa- went home and, uh, and he walked in the door and his wife said, what happened to you? Like she could see it. Um, and, and this, you know, this kind of thing um, is common. You go back and play with people that you've played with before and they go, wow, have you been working out or something? What's going on? And, um, you know, we, we consistently get that feedback from people who have done it. And so it's, you know, it's a very cool experience. Cool. The, uh, the depth in our material is that each time, and this is true, what he's saying there is true for the internal push hands. I'm talking about level one here, but also the other levels in that program. It's true for the Fa Gong Qi Gong. The Qi Gong that's the Fa Gong and the energy healing uh, has that effect on people. The, uh, the Tai Chi level one, our curriculum, I've noticed when people come for the five days, it really has that changing, does something. Uh, they come out with some real different kind of skills and ability and body qualities um, and mindset different than when they went in. That's also that one is actually done in, I think, uh, three days, three and a half days. And then the one we're getting ready to do, which is on how to fight with Tai Chi, the Tai Chi fighting method um, is going to have the same result. Anybody that's come and done that when they leave, they will have a different level of ability than when they came in the door. Um, but in a noticeable way to anybody who is interacting with them in Tai Chi in any kind of push hand setting or, or contact of any kind, or even if they're just working set, they're going to look a little different because they've got these skills that, that, you know, that somebody who hadn't had the program doesn't have. The depth in our material is that it's designed and Tai Chi itself is like this when it's really in depth that you do it. Uh, and one, like the five day on the push hands level one, you see it the next time, a year later, six months later, a year later, and you would think, okay, well, it's the same material, so I'm going to come out the same way. But it reads like one of those books that you read the book 10 times, and every time you read the book, you get a bunch of stuff out of it that you did not get the first time. And what's interesting about that is even though people have the book, I've had a number of times where people come up and go, I don't remember this. You didn't teach this last time. And they're, they're talking about something that I go to the book and I go, you mean this? And they're like, yeah, but I didn't get anything like that out of that. And it's, and it's like, well, did I not teach to that thing directly? And it's you did. And I'm okay. It's just, you're now seeing it because you got a skill with it, but the depth is so much that when you see it that next time, it really looks that much different to you, hits you in a different way. You begin to understand how deep the art is and that keeps happening every time you see it. And that's true for pretty much all the workshops I named off, all of our core curriculum. It's like that. And part of that is because it is designed with that eye on mastery to get you to a high level. And if it was extremely finite in terms of what that basic can do and what it means, you'd almost have to leave it behind and still use it. But but it would be too limiting and it wouldn't be for what somebody who's got a master's level in Tai Chi is going to have. Um, it's that the foundation of it is still the same foundation, but that foundation builds and expands, um, to the degree that it has the effect that we're talking about. I'll leave it. I'll let you guys. I I would just have to say and and add to that. Um, so I'm currently in Sifu's level three training and, um, I've taken level one push hands, which you're about to do, uh, four times. And you would think that I'd be like, the fourth time, really? It's not like that at all. There are certainly some things where I go, yeah, I kind of own that now. But there are a lot of things that I get to revisit and go, whoa, I can look at this in a completely different way now. Or because I've had some training that is now beyond that, I see the importance in whatever the particular skill may be that I didn't really realize as it was being initially taught to me. And one of the things that Sifu Clear is just phenomenal with is organization of the skills and how you really do need to be walked through step by step to build these skills. You can't just leap to some 
outrageous esoteric skill, but he's found a way to get you there. And that is what he's doing in, in these levels. It's not a, a BS curriculum. It's, it's, I, I have a book just out of reach here. I'd, I'd show it. It's like, it's crazy thick, just level one. I think it's like 30 or 40 pages. Almost 50. Um, yeah. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so anyway, it just continues to build. And uh, every one of his workshops, not only do I recommend taking them, but even repeating them, you're going to get more and more and more. And it's also, it's always an immersion experience. There's so much material that certain things are going to connect with you the first time through. And certain things like he alluded to are just going to f- maybe fly over your head. And it's not till you see it again where you go, oh, oh yeah, that, I thought I saw that. Um, before, but uh, now I really get it. So anyway, I could just go on and on. Uh, I, I can't recommend uh, e- any stronger going through these levels in, in this training. So thank you. And now a word from our sponsor. The internal power that comes at the higher levels of Tai Chi can seem mysterious, but that is mostly because Tai Chi students don't see the big picture yet. They don't even understand what the higher levels of the art are, much less have a plan to get there. Even though the senior masters mostly agree on what the steps are, they mostly don't talk about it. On the TaiChiRoadmap.com, I outline all of the steps of Tai Chi development. Everything is explained so you know what to do, when to do it, and why. This is the complete roadmap to Tai Chi mastery with an explanation of all the steps from rank beginner to senior master. Again, that is a free course that you can access online Go to TaiChiRoadmap.com to sign up. That's TaiChiRoadmap.com. Um, you know, I, I, Harry I couldn't be more right. I, I have been, I'm, I'm also in the program. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, I am also in the level three program, but I have been through the level one push hands five times now myself and I'm looking forward to doing it again here in a couple of weeks. You always, always, always get so much more out of it than the last time you went through it. It just keeps building that way because it is so deep and so wide from the beginning. Like Harry said, there's some things that kind of click right away and others that are like, okay, well, I sort of get that. But there's always more. Um, you know, always better, always deeper. And it is, um, it's, it, I mean, it's just great. I, I, I love the level one. We just repeated level two again for the first time recently, and that was a blast. But, uh, you know, the, the level one, I always look forward to it. I'm looking forward to this one, too. I, I would want to add one more thing. With all the various skills and such, and you, obviously you can't do this with everything. You've got to pick and choose, and then it becomes more of everything. Do you just have it just to touch? Maybe it's spiraling. Maybe it's waving. Maybe it's rooting. Maybe it's your upper connection. Whatever. We can choose a gazillion things. But do you own it? How well do you really have that skill? And this is not to get down on anyone, but I I frequently will see people go, oh yeah, I've got that. And then you touch with them or or watch them and you go, oh, you, you, you got this much. And there are things that I have just this much, but I know that I need to own it, each and every one of these skills. So again, repeating things and revisiting them and really honing in is the key to becoming, like Sifu Clear, yep. <laughs> masterful. The volume, I think that's the one that really surprises people a lot of times when they've had, um, for lack of a better word, the average or slightly above average Tai Chi training is that a lot of times what's put across as a jing or a method or that kind of a thing, um, just a little bit seems to be, okay, that's the thing. And like, no, that was your introduction to the thing. Uh, If it's waving, they're like, they're like, uh, oh yeah, I can, I, I, I've got waving, I can wave. And it's like, can you wave and still really have it be correct? Can you do that internally so that you're not moving very much, but somebody who touches you goes, it feels like you're doing this and you're not moving. How's this, you know, and, and it should be like a lot. It should be a lot of volume to it. It should be fast and slow if you want it to be slow. And through and through, so that the the amount of it, <clears throat> and that if they're putting hands on with you, they should be like feeling like if it's waving, for instance, they should feel completely overtaken by that to the point that it's almost unbelievable. I mean, and, um, 
that kind of a thing. And and if it's like, well, yeah, there's a nice little wave there, and oh, it's got some juice too. Okay, now I'll build that because it and put the time into it, like I was talking about. Um, the other thing I'll tell you, and this is more for everybody who's had level one push hands and are teaching it. In the book, when you're and when you're teaching when you're teaching students, there's a I think it's on page 27. Don't quote me that because I don't have the book here in front of me. There's a list, or you can take the test requirements, and essentially the training is teach to the test, making sure you're filling in whatever they need so that they can really have that, and teach that first to a student that you're teaching at home that you're seeing like once a week, once or twice a week, uh, this kind of thing. Once they've done that and take the test and can pass the test, your next best thing is to actually start at the beginning of the book because they've got the skills already. They know what the push hands is and go through the entire book with them, knowing that this is going to take uh, at home and seeing you once or twice a week for an hour, six months, maybe as long as a year, hopefully not that long, but it, it could. And really getting into the depth of it like that. And you would think, well, they've already passed the test. How much better is their skill going to get? But it should be a noticeable jump. Like, like not, not double or triple, more like 10 times the skill because they actually went in and fleshed out the information like that and worked it and by doing that. And then, um, and it is the curriculum in that, in that sense. Um, and then the same thing with level two, train to the test at first, um, or that one you might be able to start at the beginning, but if you're doing it at home, as opposed to a five day workshop, actually take each skill and go, okay, we're going to own this one. And now we're going to do the next one and own that. And then we're going to do the next one and own that. And that as opposed to skimming it or, okay, I did that a little bit and I'm going to do something else. Now you can take it in little blocks, like two or three things if you're worried about getting bored, but you wouldn't want it to be five, 10 things. They're all extremely superficial. And then you're looking to do the next one. That's just not going to add, it's going to add some skill, but it's going to be really small compared to doing it the way I just kind of talked to you about studying it. I'll let you guys add in on that anywhere, anything you want. I know. I think he said it perfectly well. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also, okay. So that's, I think that's about all we had today. Um, I hope this has been uh, good for you. And that there, if there's any questions, put in the comments below. I did have something else I wanted to get into and I forgot what it was and I just remembered. So I'm going to talk to you about this briefly. On Clear Tai Chi, members only. Part of the reason for that site <clears throat> is so that you who are on there can get into conversations that are deeper conversations than what I'm going to normally have by bit in other places on the internet so that you can ask questions you can talk about things that are on the videos like an intermediate program you can ask higher level questions or get into higher level material and actually have a discussion about it um, and in a way where i'm going to try to be answering that for you now am i going to teach you on there and it's okay you're coming there once a day with the question of the day designed to make it so you can learn the skills and you don't come out for anything and we never see you and all that no but as you, as you write questions and put things on there to interact about and with, that it's obvious you're working with. So you've got some ideas about it. You've got maybe some opinions about it. You've got some working ability with it to the extent that you can. And now we're getting into it. I'm going to get into that in some depth. And so if somebody was on there trying to glean the information, I guess they could. But without seeing what it is, ideally we're, we're actually, and I want to interact with you this way at a level of depth where if they don't have any, if they've never had the skill, they're going to be like, what are you guys talking about? And at that point it's going to be like, Hey man, go see the lesson. Like, especially a lot of it's on the intermediate Tai Chi curriculum. Watch the lesson, do the lesson, come back and you'll be able to actually engage in this discussion. And I'm wanting to have that level of discussion in that space. Um, and so if there's things that you guys are wanting like that or other things you would like us to weigh in on or get into, Clear Tai Chi members only is a great space to do that. Um, and it's designed for you guys to be able to do that. So if you're not using that space, come on, come on, let's get to it. Um, any other 
thoughts or questions or comments from you guys and yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, we, um, I just to echo the sentiment, I guess we, you know, we love hearing from our people and unlike so many, um, people who in Tai Chi or other martial arts who have DVDs and online courses, like we really pride ourselves in making sure that our students get this stuff, especially if you are, you know, telling people where you got it, we, we want you to have it. Um, and so, uh, you know, so, so please do engage with us on there. If you are engaged with the material, you know, that's, that is what it's for in, at least in part. Harry, any, any thoughts? No, everything was very well said. And, uh, I would like to, it would be great to have more participation in the members only site and more interaction. Uh, cause I know we have a lot of great people uh, on there that are obviously studying your stuff, which is why they're on the members only site. So we should be communicating. And we are trying to put stuff on there to help stimulate some of that interaction. Um, and in this case, you know, a lot of times in social media, I know people are very familiar with this. A lot of times there's engagement that's out there that that engagement is really designed to get somebody sort of um, to a place so that you can sell them things and all that. And I do make things available for you when you're on clear Tai Chi members only and let you know things that are coming up and let you know what video we've got on sale and all that stuff. But for this interaction, I am not trying to do anything on the marketing side. I'm really trying to promote and build our system and people who are working with that system and you're already, you've already bought or, or are into our stuff, whether that be through video or online. And so now I'm really trying to encourage helping you to really get it and enjoy it and be able to work with it and understand it and get an idea of us as a, as people and as a culture and as Tai Chi practitioners and all of that. And so when you see us put things on there, the design to stimulate conversation is because we actually want to just talk to you. Um, and so if I see long term that somebody's not engaging in that way, um, you know, I'm looking at like, are you really working the stuff? Are you really doing our programs? Are you really serious about becoming a, a higher level Tai Chi practitioner? And, you know, if I keep not seeing anything at some point, uh, we have it in the works, we will reach out to you and go, Hey, are you getting everything you wanted to get out of this? And if it becomes, well, I'm not really doing that stuff. Well, it was nice to interact with you, but you're not really what you just told me is you're not really a cl clear tai chi uh person and so you don't belong on a clear tai chi members only at that point and i'm i'm trying to be nice about this but direct and so if you really are a member let interact with me let me know that um and i don't mean let me know i'm really a clear tai chi guy i'm not looking for rah rah i'm looking for start talking to me about the things that if serious Tai Chi practitioner in our system is ideally thinking about talking about doing, and that's some going to be interest on you. So maybe your interest is primarily health and it's going to be from that angle. That's fine. Maybe your interest is primarily the martial side of it and that's fine. Maybe it's the internal power um, aspect and where that kind of goals and that's fine or some combination. It's all that. But if you're not talking to me about any of that, or I try to talk to you about some of that and you don't want to talk about any of it, I got to go, what is this? Why, why is, what's, what's going on here? And so, and, and, uh, hopefully that conveys the idea and, and I'm trying to keep it very positive because I really do want to interact with you like this at the same time. I guess I'm saying if somebody really is, is being like, no, I don't want no part of that. Then I'm going, why are you here? All right. Thank you. Anything to add there, Matt? No, that, that's, uh, I mean, that's about right. It's, um, you know, it's not like, Oh, you better interact with us. But, uh, but you know, at, at a certain point, um, you know, we will be reaching out and, and, you know, if it's, Oh, I don't have time for that or whatever, we've got ways that we can sort of help you figure out how to better schedule it. And, and we'll be, you know, taking hopefully some more proactive steps to help our folks do the stuff that they want to do. But if it's like, ah, I, you know, I'm just not doing that, then, you know, you probably, probably don't really belong in this discussion. Yeah. And, and we're careful about that because we really want to serve the people that are really actively trying to do this at the absolute best without any difficulties. And if we're trying to talk to you uh, right now, the clear Tai Chi members only has got about 85 folks in it. As we continue, of course, it's going to build. And there's a, there's a lot of things you kind of had to do in order to get on that list. 
Uh, the only except there are a couple of exceptions to that. One of them is I have some long-term students like from Tampa that are on there. Now I'm not like, and to give you an example, I'm not hearing anything from any of you folks on there. I promise you, I'll take you off there if it continues like that. Cause what you're telling me is you're doing something else and that's okay. Um, but you don't belong in the place doing that. If you're not doing that, um, it's simple like that. Um, anyway, so, and the thing is, is that I want to make sure that when we're talking to people on this, in this group, in this forum, if you will, um, and we're interacting with you when we're talking to you that we're not wasting our time talking to somebody who would rather we weren't talking to. And so I'm really trying to conserve, you know, my time is very limited, unfortunately. And so I'm trying to make sure that when I'm giving you time like that, that you're somebody that really wants that time. And there are a lot of people out there. I know from when we went to Michigan, I couldn't get five minutes without, you know, uh, it was, I, you know, a bunch of times where there were a bunch of people wanting to talk to me and I just couldn't get the time to get to them. So if I get somebody that's kind of there because, well, I guess I'm here. I want to interact with you and work with you, but, but I've got people that are like grasping at, at, you know, doing their best to be in that position. And I want to make sure that they get everything they can. Um, that's why I do this. I want you to actually get the skills and abilities and benefits of that stuff. And so I'm going to do my best to do that in the best way that I can. Um, and that means being discriminatory about if somebody's not really there for that. Okay. You're not really here for that. Let me help somebody that really wants you know, that kind of interaction. And so I'm going to work real hard to do that. Okay. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Thank you guys for participating today. And, um, we'll take it from here and, and, uh, comment and put comments in below when this comes up. Um, it'll be on our mastermind for a week before you guys get to see it. So by the time you see it, the push hands level one, that's getting ready to come up on Wednesday, will probably be over. And, uh, our next event will be, uh, September. Michigan and then the and then the energy healing here and then uh, I'd normally do a little Christmas thing which is more local just because it's like four hours and then I'll ask people to travel eight and ten hours for that but then uh, the fighting workshop in January fighting with Tai Chi and how you fight how you act how Tai Chi actually fights anyways and so we'll be posting all that stuff and you'll see it uh, if you're looking at it of course and uh, we look forward to working to talking to you more next time. And I look forward to seeing and working with a bunch of you. And, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Matt. Yep. And now a word from our sponsor. What is internal power? Most people only understand external exerting power, which is another way of saying tense muscle strength. Bigger, more tense muscles equal more power. That's external power. Internal power comes from pretty much anything except tensing your muscles. There are many sources of internal power and tapping into them is more of a mind skill than anything else. This is where the phrase mind over matter comes from. My name is Richard Clear and internal power is what I do. Students come to me for the mind over muscle secrets of internal power that are hard to find anywhere else. Over the past 40 years, I figured out how to get students on the fast track to effortless power. I created a one-of-a-kind online program that is getting such amazing results for my students that I put a money-back guarantee on it. Find out more at internalpowerkeys.com. That's internalpowerkeys.com. Thank you.